bronze, beautiful, and buxom. Tracy Bingham checked all three boxes during her rise to fame in the 90s. She used what her mama gave her to secure numerous modeling gigs and acting roles. One role in particular though, on one of the most popular television shows in the world, would not only change her life, but make history. Model, actress, and television personality Tracy Bingham was born the youngest of seven children in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Although she is of mixed African-American, Italian, and Native American heritage, she self-identifies as African-American. She always had a love for entertainment, so it was only natural that as soon as she graduated high school, she set her sights on Hollywood and moved to the West Coast. She got the ball rolling quickly, taking acting classes and securing her SAG after card. Even though her career began with some not so memorable minor acting roles, it was steady work and Tracy was just happy to be doing what she loved to do. Then in 1991, at the age of 23, Tracy got her first role that would make everyone, men especially, sit up and say, who is that? When she appeared as the love interest in the music video for Good Vibrations by Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. More minor acting roles followed with appearances on shows such as Beverly Hills 90210, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and Married with Children, as well as an appearance in the music video for I Really Like It by Harlem World featuring Mace and Kelly Price. Tracy then heard about an audition for a show about a bunch of lifeguards running up and down a beach, saving lives. She initially thought the concept was stupid, but hey, it's work, right? In 1996, out of thousands of women who auditioned, Tracy landed the role of the very first woman of color lifeguard, Jordan Tate, on the television series Baywatch. Lasting two years, it would be the most successful of her career. A couple of years later, Tracy's beauty and body was put on full display in the pages of Playboy magazine for a Babes of Baywatch pictorial. Also around this time, she married musician Rob Vallier. The marriage would be a short-lived one though, as they divorced just three years later. For many years, Tracy has been a diehard supporter of PETA, or People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. She's appeared in advertisements wearing a bikini made of lettuce, as well as fully nude for the organization. When her acting career cooled down, Tracy began appearing on a number of reality television programs. In 2004, she was in the second series of The Surreal Life, with castmates Ron Jeremy, Vanilla Ice, Eric Estrada, Tammy Faye Baker, and Trishel Canatella. Two years after that, she crossed the pond to England to appear in Celebrity Big Brother, where she made it to the final six contestants before being evicted on the final night of the show. She selected Families of SMA as the charity to receive a donation from her participation in the show. The objective of the charity holds a special place in her heart since her niece died from spinal muscular atrophy. More reality show appearances followed in 2007 and 2008 when Tracy appeared on VH1's The Surreal Live Fame Games and won the $100,000 grand prize and Fox Reality's Gimme My Reality Show, competing with six other celebrities in an effort to land their own reality show. 2014 would turn out to be a very interesting year for Tracy when she got caught up in a couple of scandals. Earlier in the year, she allegedly had trouble paying the bill after she and some friends enjoyed drinks and shots at an exclusive club at Fenway Stadium in Boston. Eyewitnesses claim that after multiple attempts to run her card were unsuccessful, her sister and other members of their crew scattered, leaving through different exits. Tracy was never charged. Then in December, a Massachusetts court issued an arrest warrant for her after she failed to appear in court regarding a breached adult entertainment contract she signed in 2012, in which she agreed to participate in a very explicit photo shoot for what is commonly referred to in erotica as a facial. After taking the $30,000 advance, Tracy didn't show up for the production. The company sued and was awarded a $180,000 judgment. Since 2015, Tracy hasn't made any new acting appearances. Instead, she's focused mainly on reality shows, which resulted in her last appearance to date in the show Battle of the Network Stars in 2017. Much of the reason for her absence from the spotlight can be attributed to her relocating back to the Boston area to help take care of her mother, whose health was declining. 
Tracy's been mostly living a life away from the media and public, and only occasionally doing local appearances and autograph signings. One great way fans can continue to reach out to Tracy currently is through Cameo, the website that allows anyone to connect with their favorite star and request a personalized video message for any occasion. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.